Now let's look at a change in the apportionment. Suppose that the HMO hires one new doctor. Using Hamilton's method, does the Alabama paradox occur when the number of doctors is increased from 10 to 11? Well, let's use Hamilton's method to apportion the doctors in the clinic, and we're going to do that by filling in this chart. To begin with, we're going to have to come up with a new standard divisor. So let's just go back where we have some space, and we're going to take our total number of 500 and divide by 11, since that's the number of doctors we're going to try to apportion. That's going to give us a value of 45.45. This is going to be the number that we're going to use to do our calculations. So we're going to take the population in each case and divide by this value. In clinic A, we'll come up with a value of 2.62, where we round to the nearest hundredth. In clinic B, we'll come up with 3.63. And in clinic C, we come up with 4.75. Now we're going to come up with our lower quotas. And we do that by truncating. That is, we only pick up the whole number part of this value. So we're going to have 2, 3, and 4. However, notice that this is only going to give us 9 doctors. So we're going to now have to add 2 in order to come up with our total of 11 doctors. We're going to figure out where to add that by looking at our decimal parts. We have 0.62 for clinic A, 0.63 for clinic B, and 0.75 for clinic C. Because clinic C has the largest decimal part, we're going to add 1 to clinic C's apportionment. And then the next highest is for clinic B, so we'll add 1 for clinic B. That's going to give the apportionment as 2, 4, now, the next part of the problem was to try to determine whether or not this would give us the Alabama paradox. So let's see what that reads. An increase in the total number of items to be apportioned, as we saw in this case, results in the loss of an item for a group. When we used Hamilton's method previously, we came up with an apportionment where clinic A was going to have three doctors, clinic B was going to have three, and clinic C was going to have four in order to give us ten doctors. Now we notice that we've increased the number of doctors, but we end up having clinic A losing a doctor to clinic B. And so the Alabama paradox holds.